Whenever we always speak about everything that Harry stated in his memoir Spare, everything that Harry stated in their docu-series, what he and Meghan said, even in the Oprah interview, was all nothing but the truth we end lie. Because I came across a clip, somebody commenting when he was working, he never mentioned the, the newspaper, but just to quote his words, the palace was keen to make sure that the higher to the tr throne was protected and Harry could be sacrificed. And uh, he was told to write anything about Harry and Meghan, but I had uh, to lay off William and Kat. That was the instruction from the editor. When we always say this whole story of there are people within the palace who are so much involved in everything that has happened to Harry and Meghan all along, trust me, you, that's basically the truth. We aren't trying to create assumptions or we aren't trying to bring about speculations that we think are not true. We know very well that. Those people who wanted to see the downfall of Harry and Meghan are so much close to the palace. And thank God they failed terribly. So instructions were passed. Like, you know, you can say anything about Harry and Meghan, but don't dare touch William and Kat. No matter whether true or lie, no matter the situation, just to make sure at the end of the day, it's Harry and a Meghan on the spotlight. Like, let them be, like, this is awful. What type of a relative would want such things? I'm like, these are things that I only watched on movies, so they truly, literally happen. Like, these are things going on, not wanting best for one another, even our relatives. Like, wow. Just allow me play you the clip and you give me your thoughts and comments of what you think about this. So the palace in particular was very keen to make sure that the heir to the throne yes. uh, was protected and Harry could be sacrificed if necessary. And actually when I was working, I, I shouldn't give the name of the paper, but I was doing a piece for the, one of the nationals, writing a piece. And I was told, because uh, I'm quite critical of the monarchy in many ways, I was told I could I could say what I want about Harry and Meghan, but I had to lay off William and Kate. That was the instruction from the editor. So there, I think there was an element of truth in what he says. Truth in that, in the sense that the palace in particular was... Just watching this gives you the whole idea or the whole aspect of why truly Harry and Meghan had to leave. This was not an environment to be close to or this shouldn't be the environment sur surrounding you at no given point. Because this is awful, like literally awful. And I'm like, when? Why the obsession? Why wanting Harry and Meghan? Just because they're so much loved or what basically could be the issue. Because what Harry and Meghan are given, the attention they're given, it's simply because of the work that they've just given it out to people. Of what they've been able to do over the years without no one following them up and down, without no one telling them what to do and what not. Like they've always done things to assist humanity genuinely the day they'll ever understand this i don't know when there's this whole comment also megan about her family in court they were willing to lie to protect other members of the family but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband those were words stated by Duchess Meghan during their opera interview. Not forgetting even in their docu-series, uh, Netflix docu-series, even in Harry's memoir Spare, Harry and Meghan's testimony, could just you could just see them flowing. And uh, you just sit back and question yourself, so you've been passing through all this and still be able to persevere? Like, you people are strong. Because this was beyond... This is just too much. You're not doing anything wrong, but still uh, be sacrificed. Just because they want to shield the wrongdoer. In the name of him being the next in throne. Like that was the baddest 
thing about it. Bringing about this whole aspect, at the moment, you can see how even the royalists are so much fury of palace official have made up claims about Princess of Wales surgery aimed on a Spanish news program. Like they've come out to defend that. But back then, Harry and Meghan could get any trashing, any clashing, but they wouldn't dare give response. They wouldn't. I'm like, when? Why? And uh, who's behind all this? Because my idea is that this is not a one-person funded thing. There's a whole crew behind it. And uh, I don't know, but let's just pray for Harry and Meghan for better days. And the fact that they are in an untoxic place, I love that. Personally protective also when it comes to lying to protect them. Meghan and Harry had no protection there at all. Their truths were spun as lies. And uh, William and Kat's lies were spun as truths. What a chaotic, toxic place. Whenever Ari and Megan say something, it's always a bad thing. Always stand out to be the opposite. But when William and Kate are on the picture, their lies are always stated as the truth. It's indeed a chaotic, a toxic place for one to be. The day they'll stop this, that would be the best gift they would have given to a lot of squaddies out here whom we see no need of them being given such, such attention and not in a good way, of course, but negative energy all throughout for reasons they know best. And uh, we just come to a conclusion that the palace always responds to false stories when they are true. They don't like being told the truth. They always don't want the truth to be brought out to limelight, but will always defend a lie for whatsoever extent they can. Just like the same way we remember Dan Wooden having a, having 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 things that no one is even supposed to be talking to, and people stated people will find Dan Wooden for whatsoever reasons, but him going to jail will never happen. They used to say it that way. Even now that Piers Morgan is on the picture, people are like, this is somebody who is well much known. He has a prominent people even within the palace. So of course he can never be jailed. Like they are willing to defend the wrongdoers. They are willing to defend the lies brought about, but never willing to stand by what is right, to stand with the truth. Like this is one thing, like literally just pieces me off each and every single day i wake up and just come across such things i'm like why does it have to be our beautiful couple admirable one harry and megan that's my take i don't know what's your take on this kindly just comment down below and that was our today's video and hoping to see you guys in our next video